Eric Schmidt, Leslie Tulungood, Amanda Plenovitsky, Matthew McMahon, McMahon, excuse me, Nina Petricelli Sr., Jared Cotton, Mike Medlin, Melissa Giuliani, and Kristen Bozen. And the last two were just received this afternoon. Anything else? Mr. Say anything else? Neil? Go ahead. Okay. Okay.
personally for me, and I'll just, uh, you know, my, well, my decision would be if I, you know, who I would uh, look towards would be Virginia uh, and, only, and that's only because, personally for me, um, in my background, she is more, she, I'm more really familiar with what her background is. Leaving the town, being from most of my family that grew up here, moving away, and then coming back. That's the main reason why I relate to, to, to PJ. And, but, and it has nothing to do with anybody else that's put their name in that. Um, that's one reason why I relate to her, because I know what it's like to move away and be away from this town, be away from your family, and then come back and want to help out the town. That said, everybody else, if they have anybody that they are strong for. Mike, if I could, I, yes, I want to read something that someone wrote in this that I find. Um, and this person might even hear, but I think you all appreciate this. They were, we have a community where a person can wake up on a Saturday morning, walk to a yoga class, stop at a cafe for breakfast, and rent a book from the library before heading home. We are so fortunate to have all of this within walking distance most of our homes. New housing plans are trying to create the kind of community that Bridgeville has naturally. And I think that's a, that's a tribute to the community. That's the bill. No, no, I, I read that, and that's the first one. When I read that, I read that was the first thing. So that was that. Having said that, um, I ask that you all trust that I have a lot of notes on everyone's resume that are here. As I look through this, um, I did look for experience. And not just someone who sat on council before, but what they bring to the table currently in, in the form of the, the different affiliations they serve on and the work background. Um, my personal opinion, I look at Bert Cherry and what he brings to the table with his commercial development background, uh, codes and compliances, uh, his, his knowledge of that strikes me as something that we could use contribute to the, the council immediately. So nothing against any of the rest of you, I just that's how I agree. I mean well, no, obviously there's nothing that's you know, that goes without saying. Thank you. Well I would also agree with Bill um, the construction aspects that Bert has his experience as well. I mean with a lot of things going on and it's going to be in the near future. We have to take that into consideration construction experience or uh, just just an all around things that uh, I'm experiencing the financial part. <coughs> construction, I don't even know what he has. So I well, I do. <laughs> um, so I do have some concerns when it comes to that my area understand right now. So that that was something that I felt that was very valuable to, to have is that experience. Well I got the another name to the Elizabeth has been working in this firm for years. We used to have room up critical day. She was there every year. Critical day on the avenue. She's taken a, a, a major role in running that thing. We just trying to delegate a little more authority. She's in the <coughs> in the morning until the end all the time. She's on the parking authority. She's intelligent. She's a hard worker. And she is involved in the firm for years. I think she deserves a shot at the council. Thank you, Joe. I'll throw my two cents in. I, I can see down the three, and I, I personally would uh, like to see a, a woman in this position. Um, we had talked about this the last time um, in regards to uh, the position when um, Jason's seat came up. Um, I'd, I'd like to see that diversity as far as what we do in that. Torn because Bert Cherry is very experienced too, and uh, I know he did well when he was here the last time. And, uh, I appreciate his uh, his willingness to serve. And, uh, I, I just uh, I, Elizabeth, uh, I, she's been to every council meeting for the past two and a half years, and I I appreciate that. And BJ, she also has that desire to be uh, here, so. Torn at this moment, so I don't know which one for sure.
sure I'm going to go. But uh, to me, those the three candidates, um, nothing gets you, Eric. Uh, Eric uh, has ran and uh, has a desire. And, uh, but I, I my, my, would narrow it down to two if uh, it be it, is, and that would be two women. Because I'd like to see that diversity on our board uh, moving forward. That's, um, that, that's my thought at this point. Mr. Chairman, if I may, I'm not, I'm not a lawyer, obviously, everybody knows. I saw your pants if, if it goes bad. That's my trade, Terry. But I believe that term, I like to see a woman, should be sort of a, put a little bit different. Yeah, in person. I was trying to get because to that said, that Well, it's discriminatory, I believe. Let's put it, the name, I think, would be more appropriate for the record. I'm sorry, but you know. I understand, but I don't I, want to you know me to you know I watch all those things. Yep. That's why people don't like me because I stood up always for what is best for the bar. Well, I've said both of their names, so I'm not hiding behind anything. You know me wrong. You just don't think hard enough of the rest of the consequences. That's fine, Bruce. I'm sorry. If we're looking between DJ and Elizabeth, the qualification, what, Bre what BJ brings to the table is having actually run for the position. She's run for the position on a party that told us that. Right, I mean, if we're just looking between BJ and Elizabeth, you know, we open it up, Eric is also run for the position. Oh. There's no, I'm just sort of, I'm there's no argument, argument up here about who's, that there's not enough qualified people. Yeah. Like, oh, this, this, uh, that's, this, this is why we're, we're that's why yeah. it's so difficult. Uh, this is all the stuff that goes through our minds trying to come up with the right decision. I, I said this to everybody on council, you know, when this process started, um, we walked in here, I said, I am nowhere closer than I was two weeks ago. We're all saying names that we've been saying the same names for two weeks. You know, we sit there and we'll be a community day. What do you think? And it's just, if you're here, we're not hiding behind any curtain. These, these are the conversations that we have when we're one on one, one on two, whatever. Um, so we, we all think extremely highly of all of you. Um, and that's why it's such a difficult decision. Um, Can I say one more thing? Yes, sir. Um, we're talking about people that run for the office. There's a fellow out there who served on council for 30 years. He probably does more than most of us all have together, and that's Mr. Petroselli. Absolutely. Well, like he said in his uh, application, he said, basically, there's no way now he's going to get out of <laughs> the way the uh, political setup is, is right now, which happens. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want to go that way, you got to put Mr. Petroselli out. Right. You're one about looking for people to ran for the office. I mean, he ran public works. You're he helped Bill Colusi, I guess, towards the end there. I mean, so there's another fire in the fire. Can I take about being recessed? Yeah, we can take a five minute recess. Just to go ahead and think about it. Yeah. We're going to take a five minute recess if that's okay with everybody. I really appreciate your patience.
Yeah, yeah, there's, 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 other, there's other positions, other council that right. we need to look forward to in the future. Exactly. If I can plug people in to put something out here. Yes. Those 12 people occupy one of the most powerful positions in our community. They occupy the position of resident, of citizen. And there is nothing more powerful than a concerned citizen, apprised of the facts and knowledgeable, who comes before council with a polite and cogent request and forcefully presents it and asks for it to be moved forward. It is the most powerful position in our community and I'm very happy to see 12 people actually come forward. And I would hope that they would continue to do so on the items that each of them felt concerned for. I would like to see them at a council meeting actually putting forth what concerns them. So, thank you. Well, I would take a five minute recess. Uh, it's 4.30.